I thought I'd show some tips on making logic that won't break the thermo and performance and things. So you may be aware that there's a limitation on how many trigger zones you can have at once. Um, and if you have too many, then it just kind of stops working. Uh, so if I copy this a bunch of times, then you get this warning, zones. Too many active zones, so some of them have stopped working. And it gives you examples of which things have zones that it counts in this uh, for this limitation. So, um, but in fact, the the problem is that they all look for um, possess controller sensors, which actually looks for like the shapes of um, of sculpts. So, if you use a tag, then that warning goes away, and you're absolutely fine, and they still work properly. Um, so there's actually uh, to figure out if one shape, like an arbitrary shape like a sculpt can be, is within another z a shape, which is like a trigger zone. It's very difficult for um, for the engine to do, because that's a lot of maths going on. Um, whereas if it's looking for a tag, or a um, point in space within the scene, it's a lot easier because it doesn't have to uh, remember like you've got this um, weird soft blended shape with all these weird uh, surfaces. You can just say is that point within a sphere and that's a lot easier to calculate. So um, if you're running into a problem like that where zones stop working, maybe put a tag in the puppet and look for that tag instead also applies to the imp because that's a single point in space and the camera as well whereas all the other ones are looking for like sculpts and objects and so on another point about trigger zones is if it's scene wide it's a lot cheaper for it to find stuff because it doesn't actually care where it is at all so it doesn't have to say is the shape intersecting with the shape of the trigger zone or the uh, point in space of a tag intersecting with the trigger zone it just says does it exist at all if it does then send a signal so that's good for performance too. Alternatively, you can avoid using too many trigger zones at all and have in your puppet, um, in your puppet you have a trigger zone. So add a trigger zone there. And you can move that around by grabbing the gizmo and put it right there or something. Um, and then have that looking for tags. So then each of your collectibles doesn't have a zone in, which is a bit more expensive. But you have one zone looking for um, any of these tags. So you have a tag over there, and you have this looking for tags. And then when you go over to it, then the tag outputs a signal from tag output. So you can use that to say, oh, it's been collected now, and trigger your logic. Um, just as you would do doing it the other way around. So if you had the trigger zone, and you had a tag or just looking for the um, the puppet then when the puppet goes uh, within the trigger zone then the trigger zone sends a signal so you can actually do this either way and it will work pretty much the same if it's especially if it's like a spherical kind of shape that isn't too important um, and that will be even better for performance because you have lots of tags which are cheaper um, and only one trigger zone which is more expensive However, say you have all these things and uh, they're still like expensive and difficult, uh, di difficult for the engine to run because they're on. Uh, there's just a lot of them anyway, and they've got other things going on, on in the scene. So if I just put this onto there, so we get the warning. If you turn off this chip, then all that stuff is still using thermo because it's still in memory but it's not using any performance so you're not getting warnings saying there's too many zones that are active at the same time these could be powered on and off but depending on where the player is you could have zones in all of your collectibles in a particular area but then just turn off all those zones while you're not in that area and then this this um this warning will go away like that and uh and you won't have too many zones on at the same time. So that's good for performance. Just having um, gadgets turned off means that they won't be processed 
and it will mean it will be good for performance. It will mean uh, they won't be slowing the game down if there's a lot going on. I'd like to thank Reiko, Shadow of Callus, Mobius DT, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Check out tapjars.com to find out how you can support me in helping Dreams creators. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.